Friday, March 8th, 2024, afternoon edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News AI-generated News Digest Daily Intel I Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. Without further ado, headlines of the day. United Airlines jet makes emergency landing after engine fire. Biden delivers speech on U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. Stock market updates for March 7th. Troubling surge in STDs in Europe. Alabama clinics resume treatment under new IVF law. 2024 NFL free agency matchmaker for NFC teams. Pokemon Horizons, evolutionary fresh start for anime, and much more. But first, this day in history. March 8th in history. March 8th, 1262. Battle of Hausbergen between bourgeois militias and the army of the Bishop of Strasbourg. March 8th, 1937. Spanish Civil War, the Battle of Guadalajara begins. Today's obituaries. Milan Arnezcic, a Slovenian footballer, had a successful career playing for Zeleznikar Maribor, Maribor and Red Star Belgrade. He helped Zeleznikar Maribor win the 1960 Slovenian Regional Cup and later won the Yugoslav Championship with Red Star Belgrade in the 1969-70 season. Arnezic played a total of 286 matches and scored 73 goals for NK Maribor. Henry Chakova, brief Wikipedia summary. Henry Chakova, a prominent Kenyan publisher known as the father of Kenyan publishing, made significant contributions to educational and cultural literature in East Africa. He founded East African Educational Publishers and was involved in promoting African writers. Chakava received numerous awards for his work before passing away in 2024 at the age of 77. Diana Conti, an Argentine lawyer and politician, served as a national deputy and senator in the Argentine National Congress. She was a prominent supporter of President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner and part of the Kirchnerist Coalition Front for Victory. Conti faced corruption accusations but was found innocent. She passed away on March 8, 2024. Abdou Sharif, brief Wikipedia summary. Moroccan singer Abdou Sharif, known for his crooner style, passed away at 52 from a heart attack in Casablanca. He fulfilled his dream of performing at the Kedival Cairo Opera House in 1999, earning the nickname The New Nightingale from Egyptians. Sharif was influenced by Moroccan classical music and his mentor Mahmoud Saadi. Duncan Fearnley, former English cricketer and bat producer, passed away at 83. He had a successful cricketing career, notably with Worcestershire, and later became known for his eponymous Cricket Bat Company. Fernley's legacy includes his contributions to the cricketing community and the sports equipment industry. Jonathan Hunt. Brief Wikipedia summary. Jonathan Hunt, 1938-2024, was a prominent New Zealand politician and diplomat who served as Postmaster General, 1984-1987, Member, 1966-2005, and Speaker, 1999-2005, of the House of Representatives. His death was announced on this date. Angelo Nicotra, 75, Italian voice actor, dialogue adapter and director of dubbing. Estrella Noves, 70, Portuguese actress, Dos Fugitiva, Amar de May. Dolly Sohi, Indian television actress, known for her roles in shows like Kalash and Devon K.E. Dev Mahadev, passed away at the age of 48 due to cervical cancer. Taraku. Brief Wikipedia summary. Taraku Isono, a Japanese voice actress known for roles in Inuyasha, Chibi Maruko-chan and Castle in the Sky, 
passed away at the age of 63. She had a prolific career in animation, films, commercials and video games, leaving behind a significant body of work in the entertainment industry. Ramya Wanigasekara Brief Wikipedia Summary Ramya Wanigasekara was a prominent Sri Lankan actress, singer, radio broadcaster and newsreader. She had a successful career in cinema, theatre and television and was known for her roles in stage plays like Kelani Palama. Wanigasekara was also celebrated for her contributions to Radio Salon and Sri Lankan broadcasting. Biraj Adhikari Brief Wikipedia Summary Indian politician Biraj Adhikari, known for founding the Sikkim National People's Party, SNPP, passed away in 2024 at age 63. He had a political career marked by involvement with various parties in Sikkim, contesting elections but facing defeat, and eventually retiring from active politics due to health concerns. Pedro Altamiranda Brief Wikipedia Summary Pedro Altamiranda was an influential Panamanian singer and composer known for his carnival songs that often touched on political and cultural themes. His use of Panamanian slang and satire attracted a wide audience and some of his songs were controversial and censored by the government. Altamiranda passed away at the age of 88 on March 7, 2024. Jean-Baptiste Bordas, brief Wikipedia summary. Jean-Baptiste Bordas, a French Olympic footballer who participated in the 1960 Summer Olympics, passed away on March 7, 2024, at the age of 86. Jean-Paul Colonval was a Belgian football player who was the top scorer of the Belgian First Division in 1965. He played for Tilleur and Standard de Liège, scoring a total of 64 goals in 114 games. Colinval later worked as a technical director and coach, passing away in 2024 at the age of 84. Joe Kutajar, brief Wikipedia summary. Joe Kutajar, 83, a Maltese singer known for being part of the duo Helen and Joseph, has passed away. The duo participated in the Eurovision Song Contest in 1972. Helen Mikalev, his singing partner, also had a successful solo career in music. Françoise Garner, a French soprano, known for her performances in various opera roles, including Rosina in The Barber of Seville and The Queen of the Night in The Magic Flute. She transitioned from coloratura to lyric and then dramatic soprano roles during her career. Garner passed away at 90 in 2024. David Granger, brief Wikipedia summary. The article mentions David Granger as a 69-year-old Australian footballer who played for Port Adelaide and St Kilda. John Eisenbarger, a former American football player known for his time with the San Francisco 49 ERs, passed away at the age of 76. Eisenbarger had a football career that included playing for the 49 ERs and the Hawaiians of the World Football League. His death was announced on March 7th, 2024. Amit Kok, brief Wikipedia summary. Amit Kok is a Belgian politician, aged 46. John Kumar, brief Wikipedia summary. John Ampontua. Kumar was a Ghanaian politician, lawyer, businessman and preacher who served as the CEO of the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Programme before becoming a Member of Parliament for the Ejisu constituency in the 2020 Ghanaian general election. He was known for his work in youth development, politics and philanthropy. Kuma passed away at the age of 45 in Ghana in March 2024. Steve Lawrence, an American singer and actor known for hits like Go Away Little Girl and his role in the Blues Brothers, passed away at 88 due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. He was part of the popular duo Steve and Idy with his wife Idy Gourmet and had a successful career in music and television. Daniel Martin, brief Wikipedia summary. 
The article does not provide relevant information about the French actor Daniel Martin. Minavino Pietra, a former Portuguese football player and manager, passed away at the age of 70. He had a successful career playing for clubs like Belenenses and Benfica, winning several domestic trophies. Pietra also represented Portugal internationally and later transitioned into coaching roles. Jim Roddy. Brief Wikipedia summary. James C. Roddy, a prominent American politician and businessman, was the first chief executive of Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, from 2000 to 2004. Roddy, a Republican, also served as the chair of the Republican Committee of Allegheny County from 2005 to 2016. He passed away in March 2024 at the age of 91. Sun Myung Soon, the former South Korean First Lady from 1993 to 1998, passed away at the age of 95. She was married to President Kim Young Sam and was known for her quiet assistance and traditional role of women during her time as First Lady. Lucas Samaras, brief Wikipedia summary. Lucas Samaras was a Greek-born American artist known for his work in photography, sculpture and painting. He participated in Happenings by Alan Capro and posed for George Siegel's sculptures. Samaras explored self-image through distorted photography and multimedia collages. He died in 2024 at the age of 87. Neely Tal, an Israeli journalist and filmmaker known for works like Women for Sale, received several awards for her contributions to documentaries. Tal began her career at Haaretz and later transitioned to television. She released various documentaries focusing on societal issues and personal stories before her death in 2024 at the age of 80. Oscar Traven, 75, Mexican actor, Martin Garatuza, Pobre Niña Rica, de Sencuentro. And now on to today's news. General news. Text removed. Sweden officially joins NATO, ending decades of post-World War II neutrality. The Associated Press. Sweden formally joins NATO as the 32nd member, ending decades of neutrality. President Biden praised the move, stating it strengthens the alliance in response to Russia's aggression in Ukraine. NATO Secretary General called it a historic day, emphasizing Sweden's new role in shaping alliance decisions. Alabama clinics resume treatment under new IVF law, but experts say it will take more work to protect fertility services. CNN. Alabama has resumed some in vitro fertilization services following a new law aimed at protecting IVF patients and providers from legal liability. The law does not address the personhood issue but offers immunity for damages to embryos. Providers are cautiously optimistic about the legislation. 2024 NFL free agency matchmaker for NFC teams. Kirk Cousins boosts Falcons. Justin Simmons bolsters Panthers D. CBS Sports. The article discusses NFL teams preparing for free agency, highlighting potential player signings for each team in the NFC. It suggests moves like the Cowboys signing Luvu, the Giants pursuing Jackson, and Washington targeting Williams to address various needs on their rosters. Business news. Stock market today, Dow S&P live updates for March 7th, Bloomberg. Stocks reach record highs in anticipation of potential interest rate cuts by major central banks ahead of the U.S. jobs report. Listeners are encouraged to follow the Big Take podcast on iHeart, Apple Podcasts, Spotify for more insights and analysis. Rivian R2 revealed a $45,000 electric off-roader for the masses, The Verge. Rivian introduces the R2, an affordable electric SUV with a range of over 300 miles and a starting price of $45,000. It aims to broaden Rivian's appeal and compete with Tesla and other automakers. This move is crucial for Rivian's long-term success and market competitiveness. Thought we were going to die. United Airlines jet makes emergency landing after flames break out an engine. ABC News. 
A United Airlines flight from Houston to Fort Myers made an emergency landing after flames shot from an engine. Passengers recounted panic and fear as the plane shook, with one passenger saying they thought they were going to die as the engine was engulfed in flames. Technology news. Overwatch 2 Cowboy Bebop crossover launch date. First skins revealed Polygon. Overwatch 2 is collaborating with Cowboy Bebop, offering new skins and content inspired by the anime series. Players can unlock free Cowboy Bebop-themed cosmetics for characters like Cassidy, Ash, Sombra, and Malga, with more details to be revealed on March 11. Fortnite Chapter 5, Season 2. Promises plenty of Greek mythological action. Game Informer. Fortnite. Chapter 5, Season 2, Myths and Mortals has been announced, featuring a Greek mythology theme with skins of gods and goddesses. The new season starts on March 8. Additionally, collaborations with Lego Islands and Disney are mentioned. Sports News. Report, Saints will release Michael Thomas before start of new league year. NBC Sports. The New Orleans Saints are set to release wide receiver Michael Thomas before the new league year, as reported by Jeff Duncan. Thomas has faced injuries in recent seasons after a record-setting 2019, and despite conflicting reports, the release is imminent due to contract renegotiation. Report, Wolves' Carl Anthony Towns has torn meniscus out indefinitely with injury. Bleacher Report. Minnesota Timberwolves forward. Carl Anthony Towns has suffered a torn meniscus in his left knee, putting him out indefinitely. This injury is a significant blow to the Timberwolves, who are currently tied for the top seed in the Western Conference and will likely impact their standing in the competitive conference. Famous people born on this day. March 8, 1986. Thomas Morstead, American football player. March 8, 1983. Mark Worrell, American baseball player. Health news. Nanoplastics linked to heart attack, stroke, and early death. Study finds CNN. A new study found that people with microplastics or nanoplastics in their carotid artery tissues were twice as likely to experience heart attacks, strokes, or early death. The presence of plastics in the body was associated with cardiovascular events in individuals affected by atherosclerosis. Experts warning of troubling surge in sexually transmitted diseases in Europe amid push for better sexual health. Euronews. Sexually transmitted infections are on the rise in Europe, with significant increases in gonorrhea, syphilis, and chlamydia cases. Health authorities are urging urgent action to raise awareness and promote sexual health, emphasizing the importance of testing, treatment, and prevention efforts. Stigma around STIs can hinder testing and treatment efforts. Precocious puberty in girls comes with mental health risks. Stat. Girls are experiencing puberty at earlier ages, leading to mental health risks. Factors contributing to early puberty include obesity, stress, and exposure to endocrine-disrupting chemicals. Early puberty can lead to long-term health issues and mental health challenges impacting girls' well-being and social interactions. Entertainment news. BAFTA Games Awards 2024, Baldur's Gate 3 and Spider-Man lead nods. BBC.com. Pokemon Horizons. The series is an evolutionary fresh start for the anime, The Verge. The article discusses the new Pokemon animated series, Pokemon Horizons, the series which follows a new protagonist named Liko on her Pokemon journey. The series is praised for its fresh energy, expanded storyline, and diverse cast of characters, offering a new take on the traditional Pokemon formula. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. I saw an ad in a shop window. Television for sale, one dollar volume stuck on full. I thought, I can't turn that down. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because she was stuffed. Thank you for watching this AGNDD. Until I report, like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. 
Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.